Hey, Director Success. Hey, it's Marna, National Executive Director out of Cock Holland, Michigan. And it's Saturday morning, and I'm here to just chat with you just a few minutes about bookings. Um, excuse the way. Oh, geez, did that work right? Let's see, I can't even see myself. Hope you guys can see me. There we go. Um, anyway, geez, need more coffee. Let me get my McDonald's coffee. Cheers. Um, excuse the way I look. I've got up at 5.30 to come down and watch a grandson's uh, soccer game at 8.30. So I've already driven an hour and a half and uh, been to a game and in the wind and also hence the way I look. So here's what I want to chat with you about. The idea of working while you're already working. And this concept was um, trained at a workshop that I went to many years ago and it really made sense and it resonated with me and I want to see if it resonates with you. So <clears throat> getting bookings is a vital part of our business, right? That's where everything happens. We do a party, we get new sales, we get new bookings, we get recruits, and that's how the business is designed to run. So sometimes what happens is we don't get our bookings in the party. We're looking for sales or we're looking for something else. And then we have to go outside of parties, you know, do things on our Facebook page and we have to scrounge around among our friends. So why would you want to book with within the party? Well, first of all, usually it's new people, people that you haven't done parties with before. When I go out to my Facebook world and ask for bookings, who are we talking with? We're talking with our friends and our relatives and the people that we've already worked with or they're part of our life. So it's so vitally important to get parties within your parties. And then the other thing to think about is that you're already working. So you don't have to add more hours to your day to try to get bookings if you make getting parties booked like the number one goal if you need bookings right now. So here's a couple of ideas. Um, you usually have, you know, 40 to 50 people in the party and they don't all order. So what it's what you want to do is build a relationship with many of these people in the party. So I use the acronym uh, CTR. So the first thing that you want to do in parties is connect with people. You know, when we did cooking parties, I'm, I know I'm dating myself as a dinosaur, but for 22 years, that's all I did was cooking parties. And our first goal was to connect with people, meet them, greet them, talk with them, get to know them, et cetera, et cetera. So how do you do that in a virtual party? Mostly by commenting in your in your true self. Like if someone makes a comment about what kind of ice cream they like, I might not just say, oh, I love that too. I might say, oh my gosh, girl, I love that too. Have you ever tried this? You try to make conversation with people. When people feel that you notice them, you make a connection with them, when you circle back later and talk about a booking, they go, yeah, I chatted with her already. I'm good. So connect with people like no other. So if you're going to do a party, make it the best it can be. Sales, bookings, and recruits. And the way to all of that is to first connect with people. So in your posting, make sure you're um, connecting, talking, chatting uh, in your true self. And then the T is for track. And this is something that I learned, I think, from Stacey Itzel of how to actually have a sheet of paper, some kind of tracking where you write down who you've been talking with, who look, who appear to be rock star guests. And I especially track those people that have sent me a private message to my business page, <clears throat> excuse me, because those people are a lot easier to get a hold of when it's time for bookings because you've already you know got that two-way going on so you track you might put down rock star guests or people who've reached out to me or um people who've you know commented on the post but you have to track it so you know who to target for your bookings and that the third is reach out so r is for reach out and you know a stagnant post asking for bookings is probably not going to do a whole lot. Just like if you just put it out on Facebook, hey, I'm looking for parties. It's not going to do as much as if you message somebody and said, oh my gosh, friend, I've got such a great bonus for this month. I had to let you know about it. So how are you going to reach out? Well, <clears throat> first of all, if you've uh, if you've got new Facebook, which most of us have, you can send a message and it will go into the people's inbox. If you find a comment that somebody's commented, you can hit message and your business page will message that person and it'll drop in their inbox, which is a great way. So at the end of the party, I'm really going to start ramping up my booking uh, efforts. And the first thing I'm going to do is talk again with my host about the three booking bonus. And I'm going to say things like, so who do you think among your friends will book the party? We're looking for three. 
who can you reach out to? Have you chatted with anybody? Um, I also send out a host packet with two catalogs and a letter of talking about, you know, all the benefits of hosting. I'm an old fashioned girl, so I do send out a letter and, and things in the actual snail mail. So I'm going to refer to that. And so I'm going to get, I usually start ramping up my booking efforts the last couple days of the party. That's one, because now I've had a chance to see who, and I've made connections with people and people have ordered. So First, you could go ahead and start messaging people. Things like, hey, thanks so much for being part of Mary's party. You were just such a rock star guest. Before we wrap up, I wanted to reach out to see if you didn't get everything on your wish list, if hosting your own party would be something you'd want to try. It's free to host, and I'd love to partner with you. What do you think? I always like to say, what do you think? Um, so we're going to message them into their inbox. Uh, you can also just comment and tag them on a post. You could just say, hey, Mary Jones, and tag them. I just wanted to let you know that we're wrapping up uh, Gina's party. And so I'm making some uh, last minute reach outs to see if you are one of the people that might want to host your own party. If you didn't get everything on your wish list, it's a great way to, uh, to get it. So you can comment in the party. You can send private messages. You can have your host do some messaging for me, but it's like an all-out blitz. If, if there were such a thing in a party as a booking blitz, that's what I would call it. It's an all-out effort to get more orders, but more importantly, more booking. So another message that sometimes I'll say, let, let's say somebody did not order and I've had a connection with them, I'll say something like, um, hey, June, I just wanted to let you know we're wrapping up Mary's party and wanted to let you know that our link is open through midnight tonight at blah, blah, blah for your order. But what would you think about being one of June's bookings and hosting your own party um, and getting some free stuff? You know, I, I look for the order, but then I throw in the booking. And sometimes they'll say, well, I was planning to order anyway, but yeah, I could do a party. I have to tell you that it's in the ask. You've got to ask everybody if they want to host a party because not everybody is just going to self-appear and say, oh, I think I want to do it. Um, think about things in your life that you've ended up doing, but it was only after somebody personally messaged you or asked you. You know, you can see you know, something on on Facebook or maybe in your school newsletter like, hey, you know, we're doing a fundraiser and we need cookies baked. And you go, well, that's nice. And you think, yeah, maybe I could do it. But you don't like right away message that person and say, hey, I'll do that for you. But if that person, you know, called you, well, that's old fashioned too. Who calls? Let's just be real. Um, they message you, they text you and say, hey, Marna, um, I'm in charge of this crazy, you know, cookie fundraiser and I need three dozen cookies baked. Is that anything you could do for me? I promise you, if I was able to, I would do it with that personal message. So I want you to just keep thinking about how can you make this, this business more personal in an impersonal world. Facebook is not a real personal you know, method of, of communication. So we've got to make it personal. We've got to make it you know, about them, targeting them, and why you chose them. Hey, you were such a fun guest. I'd love to partner with you. Um, what would you think? Um, I always tell them that, you know, like if I get some interest, you know, well, I'm booking, you know, I've got openings for next week. Yeah, I could slide you in next Friday. Would that work for you? I book them right up close. If I have an opening, I get them booked right in. Now, if I get one booking, I'm going to right away message the host and say, I've got one of your three bookings. We just need two more. I've got two of your bookings. We just need one more. Who can you get? And so it's a partnership between the host and us and then with us working with guests too. So I just wanted to give you uh, those tips. Let's just see if I covered everything. I think I covered everything, right? So um, remember the acronym CONNECT, C, T for track, and R for reach out. And I think you're going to have lots of bookings. October, friends, is going to be a rock star month. It always is. But just imagine with everything we've got going for us now, we've got the momentum. We've got more team members. We've got more than we ever have had before. We're just going to kill it in October. So anyway, thanks for listening to me ramble, and we'll see you real soon. Take care of you, okay?